Today, I'm hanging out with online millionaires. I'm spending the entire day learning about how these people make their money, what they really do, and maybe more about their personal life. Uh, we did about 1.8 million sales. Here they are right now. What's up? What's up? Chris is 25 years old and has amassed over $5 million in sales with his online store. He flew into Oregon and I picked him up from the airport so we could meet our next friend, Brennan. Oregon. We made it to Oregon. This is Brennan. And this is Chris. And what do you guys do? Well, I guess we make socks now, right? I guess we make socks. Brennan is 19 years old and he's the founder of Hoopswag. Hoopswag is a multi million dollar sock company, and you'd be surprised of how much socks they really have. Today we got a tour of his warehouse. Oh yeah, Brennan owns all of this. I'm really loaded. So. <laughs> Guys, okay, so currently now we're going to Brennan's sock warehouse. It's a how long of a drive? I think it's like 10 minutes. Super far away. All right, I'll see you guys there. Oh, can I have one? What? Yeah. <laughs> so this is the first half of the sock factory. This is insane. It's crazy to think that like these sack companies take up this much space. Oh, it's ridiculous. You wouldn't sleep. <laughs> I mean, do you get stressed, Brennan? Or do you just not show it? Oh, uh, or... a little bit of both. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm... All right, guys, so it's been literally four hours with these dudes, but I still haven't learned much about their business. So both of you guys print people's pets on items for personalized products. So I'm just curious for viewers who don't know, how did you start your business? How did you start your business, Chris? Let's start with Brennan. I started mine printing on socks when I was like 13 years old just because I was like weirdly obsessed with them. And then like after three or four years, we started doing pets and stuff. And then that's kind of elaborated into like factory. Like we make lots of socks now. I literally started printing random stuff on socks. When did you start, Chris? Yeah, I started back in 2017. And I do a method very similar to Brennan, however, it's with print on demand and I don't have a big warehouse like this. Huh. All right, quick business lesson of the day. Both of these guys have saw companies, but one of them actually has a warehouse and one of them only needs their laptop. So what's the difference between the two? Print on demand basically means we work with different fulfillment centers and they only print and ship the product when a customer pays us. And on the flip side, Brennan has his own fulfillment company. So everything is printed in his own space and warehouse. Now we're going to go over the pros and cons. Brennan and I are, I think, friends. So sometimes I hear him talking about the stress and pressure it can be to have your own warehouse and all the products. So what would you consider the pros of having a warehouse and also cons? Pros is like you have, you control everything, right? So we like can control all of our own manufacturing and that sort of thing. So we get a lot more control over the like customer experience and making mm. it a good overall product. Whereas if you do like a print on demand, you don't necessarily get as much to control as much of that. Some cons are you have to deal with all the overhead, right? So we pay for warehousing. We have to deal with HR. How do you keep people on all year long? Inventory management, like there's all this stuff. Do you have a team in to, to that extent? Yeah, we have a team, but it's all virtual. Okay. So nothing in house. How many like team members do you have or employees? Can we make you four? Probably 40 plus. How many do you have? We're like 200 with virtual plus physical. That's yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. You know how much money you're going to make this year. Like how confident are you with sales production? Is that a thing that you guys do? You can make estimates, but like, I don't, I correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you necessarily know until December 31st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have estimates. Yeah, estimates, but. You don't really know. Yeah. Yeah. What did you guys shape. do last year? We did about 1.8 million in sales. Yeah, we did about the same. I think it was like 1.5, 1.6. Yeah. That's a big thing for both of your guys' age. One, how do you guys sleep at night? Like, what does your social life look like? I'm just curious. What do you do beyond just printing? Do you items? sleep at night? Is the first question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm running actually on a few days of no sleep, so um, it it can get hard, and it really comes down to managing your time. Um, I don't know. Do you have friends? I, I don't Wait, know. Someone, <laughs> we don't know like, them, like I, Do you have a social circle? Personally, I like to just kind of stay to myself. How about you? I mean, I live in the middle of Oregon. There's not a lot of people here, so. Of any other race here, it's the weirdest thing. Am I and the then, only Asian person in this yes, town? I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you drive like a town over and it's totally normal. It's really weird. Like, I grew up in a bubble. Wait, what's this place called again? Sherwood. Sherwood or Oregon. Not to like call Sherwood out or anything, but like, I mean, I have. I have hey, friends. I'm here. Yeah, you live in Vancouver. Okay, that's true. All that half Oregon, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm similar. I spend most of my time by myself. I know Bre Brennan and his parents work closely. What do your parents think about this? They don't understand it like Brennan's parents. Mm -hmm. They have an idea, but again, it's hard for them to understand. Okay. 
Hmm. Unfortunately. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right, guys. So currently Thanks. it's 4 p.m. And what are we doing right now? Uh, we're exploring the food options in Sherwood, Oregon. Oh, what's your go-to place in Sherwood? My house. <laughs> I mean, Let's see what the e-commerce legends eat. I wonder what their diet is. No, see, the thing is we don't. <laughs> Wait, what? He's literally, he's like, he told me he didn't eat since no. yesterday. He's good. That's I feel secret. that though. I 100% I, yeah. feel that. Wait. I usually eat once a day. Once a day? Like, I what do you eat? eat? And I survive. I'm still alive. You're doing great. You're thriving. Um, what do I eat? Yeah. Sometimes I'll just eat like chicken. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Wait, why are you the same person? Do you ever eat rice with your chicken? Every time. <laughs> I, you know, I have, I've got chicken and rice in my house. That is what I live on. I live on rice with some sort of meat. And then sometimes a sauce. Wait, you are literally the same person. You both don't sleep. You both eat chicken and rice. Is there... Well, do you like matcha? Matcha. The heck is matcha? Oh, oh, oh like all right. Tea, right? Yeah. I don't know what matcha is. Matcha. Yeah, matcha green tea latte. Matcha. I mean, I like Mountain Dew. Green tea <laughs> <laughs> green okay. Tea? Yes, it's green tea. It's the best caffeine source of energy. Super, super oh, I'm, good. Yeah, I'm like energy. Brenda likes matcha. Bro, matcha it's matcha. grown on me a little bit, mostly because she shoves it down my throat every time I see her at a coffee shop. I like, know I'm so. What are you getting? Oh, you're getting matcha. <laughs> like that's genuinely how it goes. <laughs> Um, I was gonna ask like because you mentioned you don't sleep So what do you like when you say you can't stop thinking is it because of business? Yeah. It's just business Oh, yeah, I feel like your best ideas come when you're laying there And then you're like I should really do something about that But then you just don't because you're laying there and then you feel bad because you're not doing anything So then you get up and then you're even more tired the next day. It's an endless day cycle But why don't you just write the idea down and just go to bed? Don't work like that. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. I think what happens to me a lot of times at nighttime is I think about problems and issues that could happen. Oh. That's kind of like the thing that keeps me up. <laughs> Mine's more like the uh, new things to do. And if I don't do something about them, then I feel guilty that I'm sleeping. Like, my question is, are you guys scared of the future? No, I'm not scared of the future. I'm just trying to like. I think I just have, me personally, like there's a lot going on right now. I know with Brennan as well, coming in, into Q4, the busiest time of the year, and it's one wrong move can either make or break you. I don't know, I, I don't know what's keeping me up. I really don't, I wish I knew. All right guys, so it's currently almost time to go to bed, and I think I just wanna wrap it up with what I've learned. Did we learn? <laughs> okay, so Chris is actually falling asleep right now. I think he's had a long day. He hasn't slept in a long time. But something that I learned was like that you're not the only one who doesn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and that, kids, is our lesson from today. No, but like, do you feel at peace when you- That someone else eats rice and chicken and doesn't sleep? Yeah. I'm feeling real at peace. I live on. I live on rice with some sort of meat. And then sometimes a sauce. I feel like the e-commerce secret to- <laughs> Success. Just like don't sleep. Don't, eat. don't <laughs> sleep and eat like unseasoned chicken. Do you think when people sign up to start a business, they know that this is a possibility of the life that you live? Like, do most people know that this is in reality what you do day to day? No, I mean people think what I do is like sexy or fun or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's not. It's not like I enjoy it. It's all like, about the Lambos and yeah. I don't like, got a Lambo. Drive a Toyota Prius, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I drive a Chevy Equinox. It's the best car in the world. Thank you very much. Okay, sure. Yeah. No, I mean the running of an actual business usually will not kill you, but like. It keeps you up at night. It just does. That's kind of the reality of it. And does it exhilarate you in a way? Like, do you enjoy it? It's extreme highs and extreme lows, right? Are you an extreme high or low right now? I'm in the middle right now. What creates a low for you? Is it the money or is it like when you feel like you're alone? Uh, neither. It would be not hitting targets or goals of some sort. So money? No, not necessarily money. What's the goal? Like, I'd argue that you're at a low if you lose all your employees. Uh. Like besides the money aspect of it. So it's the people around you that yeah, are down? Yeah, I mean, it's like a matter of like, are you moving forward? Are you kind of stagnant? So I spent the whole day with people who make money online and I found it really interesting to see your guys' day to day. I didn't expect it to be honestly so brutal. Brutal? Like it's pretty intense, the hours you work. Yeah. So thanks for letting me um, follow you around. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>